How in the world did you ever get involved in praying to demon spirits? Well, when I came out of the uh, Navy after World War II, I um, was looking for to take up a trade in Montreal, Canada. And at that time, I ran across uh, a fellow that, that had been on a particular ship with me. And he said, hey, Mono, you're alive. How nice to meet you. He says, let's have a dinner tonight. I said to my boss, can I have the evening off? Because I was uh, the assistant to the Windsor Bowling Alleys and uh, uh, Billiard, you know. It's the high class uh, place in Montreal where all the dress manufacturer, manufacturing people go and uh, relax. <clears throat> so I got the evening off and I went out, uh, we went out and have dinner. He told me, hey, I got something fantastic to tell you. He said, I am affiliated with people that speak with the spirits of the dead. How would you like to talk to this, the, the spirit of your dead mother? And I was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked. He said, you wouldn't be uh, afraid of talking to, to the spirit of your dead mother, would you? Well, I said, I'll tell you what, I would have to give that some thought because it's something I never thought about before in my life. Most of us probably haven't, a little afraid of something like that. Well, he says, you know, you know, it's written all over your face. You're afraid of, of going to a seance. But he says, I know you, he says, you're going to come. And uh, then he started to tell me how brave I was when I was aboard ship, you know, <laughs> different things. He says, you're not the same man, you've changed. You're, you're chicken. That's all I needed to hear. I said, when do we go to a seance? So one Saturday evening, we were in the place. <clears throat> it was the very first time, very beautiful place. The medium it was a lady. She had a gorgeous new home in Montreal. And there were about 20 uh, invited guests there, which I was <coughs> one of them. And uh, she communicated with the spirits for there's different people there, and give, telling them what the Spirit said. And then there was one lady that had been talking almost continually before the, the seance started, and she didn't believe in the, the, you know, the dead appearing and all of this and all that, and she said, well, I would have to see my dead sister, she says, to believe it. So <laughs> while this, uh, the seance was, was going, one man uh, <clears throat> said, I would like to talk to my friend that died six months ago. But I don't want him to appear. Just want to talk to him. Because he says, I don't trust you talking to my, my friend for me. So the, so the uh, medium says, let me inquire of the spirit. Yeah, the spirit will, will talk with you. And that big masculine voice was heard in the place. It says, hi, Frank. It's nice of you to ask for me to talk with you. And they had a little chat. And after it was over, Frank says, this is the greatest thing honored, to be able to talk with the spirits of the dead. Then this, the medium said, we have a very special surprise tonight for you people. A spirit will manifest itself openly here in a few minutes. And it's like a big gust of wind hit the building. 